Hello, happy Tuesday. For today's math lesson, what we will be doing is we will represent and solve addition word problems. How we will be doing this is we will use manipulatives to model and solve a word problem. This is important so we know how to make a model in order to represent a problem. Before we start today's math lesson, let's go ahead and review our vocabulary and as well as our anchor chart from yesterday. We're going to start off with strip diagram. This is a new vocabulary word that we learned yesterday. So let's say it all together. Strip diagram. Good job. Strip diagram. So a strip diagram, we have a part, part, whole. So when the whole is unknown, you add the part. What do you do? You add the part. So this helps with addition word problems. So we have our part plus part, which equals our whole. So this is our strip diagram. Next we have our equal sign. Let's say it all together. Equal sign. Our equal sign is a symbol that means is the same as. So we have six equals six. So six is equal to six because they are the same number. They have the same value. Equal sign. So let's go ahead and look at our anchor chart from yesterday. So this is our strip diagram that we did yesterday. And we did it for an addition word problem. So yesterday we had to solve how many birds were on the tree. So we have 6 plus 3 equals question mark because we didn't know how many birds were on the tree. And this was the strip diagram we drew. So we drew our part which was six, and then we had another part, which was three, and we wanted to figure out our whole. So this one has a question mark because we didn't know our whole. So we have our part, part, whole, and we added them together in order to solve for our sum. So let's go ahead and look at another word problem today so we can practice more with our strip diagrams. Today, we're going to go ahead and read another word problem and go ahead and draw it and then construct our strip diagram. So let's read this problem together. Kellen had eight purple balloons. Frankie gave him nine balloons. How many balloons does Kellen have now, okay, so let's go ahead and read the first number. So Kellen has eight purple balloons. So how many purple balloons does he have? Eight, so he has eight purple balloons. So right here where it says draw, I'm going to just draw the purple balloons. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just drawing them in a balloon shape, but you can draw the dots just like how I showed yesterday, or you can draw the balloons. You don't have to. So I have eight balloons. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to get some linking cubes and grab eight purple linking cubes or eight purple balloons. So I have four, five, six, six, seven, and one more, eight. So let me check one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight purple linking cubes for my eight purple balloons. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put them on the side. And let's look at our strip diagram. So we found a part. It's eight purple balloons. That is one of our parts. So I'm going to put right here eight. So we have eight purple balloons. Okay. Now let's read the rest of the problem. Frankie gave him nine yellow balloons. How many yellow balloons did Frankie give him? Nine. Gave him nine yellow balloons. So let's go ahead and get nine yellow balloons. I'm going to draw them out. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, you can draw dots. I just drew the little balloons for my nine yellow balloons. And I'm going to get nine yellow linking cubes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. I have 10, so I'm going to take one away. So now I have eight purple balloons and nine yellow balloons. I have them both right here. Okay. So now in our strip diagram, we have another part to our diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and put the number nine right here in yellow for our nine yellow balloons. So what are we trying to solve? How many balloons does Kellen have now? So if we have two parts, what does that mean we need to do for our whole? How many balloons does Kellen have now? What do we want to know? How many balloons Kevin? Oh, Kellen has. So we need to count them all together. So we can count them. So let's count our purple ones first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So if we count our balloons all together, we have 17 balloons. So we have 17 balloons all together. 17 balloons all together. I have this big long line of red linking cubes to represent our 17. So right here, we can see there's eight. And then here, we can fit this nine yellow balloons. So it equals 17. So we can go ahead and put right here, 17. Oops. So I'm going to put it oops, here. Seven. Balloons right here all together. If we look at our vocabulary word, a strip diagram, we remember that when we have two parts, we add them together in order to get our whole number. So when we have two parts, we add them together in order to get our whole number. So that is what we're doing right here. We are adding 8 plus 9 in order to get our whole number, which is 17. So I'm going to go ahead and write my answer right here. I'm going to write my answer is 17 balloons. So how many balloons does Kellen have now? 17 balloons and explain my answer. What did we do? We added the eight purple balloons Kellen had and then the nine yellow balloons Frankie gave him. I'm going to put 
we added eight purple balloons and nine yellow balloons. So that is what we did. So for my explain your answer, I added eight purple balloons and nine yellow balloons because that's how we got our whole. So we had our part, pulls our part, equals our whole number. Yeah? So we added, this was an addition problem. So we created our strip diagram. We got our whole. For your assignment for today, you're going to go ahead and solve a similar word problem. So this is the word problem. Isabel has six purple balloons. Oscar gave her nine green balloons. How many balloons does Isabel have now? You're going to do exactly what we did in the lesson. You're going to draw out your word problem. And you, then you're going to create your strip diagram. After you do those two things and you come up with your answer, you are solved, you solved for your answer, you're going to put your answer right here. And for explain your answer, let's read right here. It says make a video to explain your answer and how to solve it. So once you're done solving, you're going to go ahead and create a video explaining how you got the answer. How did you solve it? Okay, so once you've completed these assignments, you can go ahead and use the pencil feature to complete this assignment. So use the pencil feature. You save this document. So make sure to press save. It's the right on the right hand side. There's a save button. So press the save button and then also upload your video explaining how you solve the answer for today on Google Classroom. Once you've done those thing, two things, then you are done for the day. You can go ahead and go to the next slide, which is the last slide, to practice counting to 100 with a cute little song. Hmm? Today, we review how to solve problems using manipulatives and how to model in order to represent a word problem. I'll see you next time in math. Bye.